The Fleet Solid Support Ship Program aims to deliver up to three Fleet Solid Support Ships to the British Royal Fleet Auxiliary. The Royal Fleet Auxiliary is a step closer to receiving highly capable new support ships following successful completion of the Fleet Solid Support FSS Program's Critical Design Review CDR in April 2024. The MOD stated that some design work was still ongoing and construction of the first ship is due to begin in 2025. The production of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary's next-generation solid store ships can now begin following the successful completion of the Fleet Solid Support Program's critical design review. The milestone confirms the detailed design is complete and ready for manufacture. All three ships had been scheduled to enter service between 2028 and 2032. The ships will be used to provide underway replenishment of dry stores, such as ammunition, spare parts and supplies, to ships of the Royal Navy. They will regularly deploy with the UK Carrier Strike Group, providing crucial supplies to the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers and their escorts. The ships were first proposed by the British government in 2015 as part of the Strategic Defence and Security Review. In the subsequent National Shipbuilding Strategy, the government outlined its intentions to tender the ships internationally to encourage competitiveness with British shipyards. This was criticized by some political parties and trade unions as being a potential loss of British shipbuilding jobs and skills. Following a competition, which began in 2018, Team Resolute was awarded a contract for the three vessels, BMT Group will provide the design, whilst Harlan and Wolf and Navancha UK will construct them. In November 2015, the British government published the Strategic Defence and Security Review which outlined a commitment to three new solid support ships by 2025. The ships are replacements for the RFA's Fort Victoria class and Fort Rosalie class fleet solid support ships which had grown increasingly obsolete. One ship, RFA Fort Victoria, underwent modernization in 2017, which made her the only fleet solid support ship compatible with the new Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers, whilst the remaining ships were withdrawn from service. In the National Shipbuilding Strategy, published in 2017, the government stated that the contract for the ships would be subject to an international competition, pitting UK firms against those overseas in order to encourage competitiveness. The government also described the ships as non-warships, which allowed them to be tendered internationally under the European Union's Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union. The government's strategy was criticized as a potential loss of British skills and jobs by opposition political parties and trade unions, such as GMB and the Confederation of Shipbuilding and Engineering Unions. They argued that the ships should be reclassified as warships and therefore made exempt from the treaty. In November 2018, a list of bidders was selected for the FSS contract which consisted of a British consortium comprising Babcock, BAE Systems, Camel Laird and Rolls-Royce, in addition to international bidders, including Fincantieri Italy, Navancha Spain, Japan Marine United Corporation Japan and Diwu Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering South Korea. Fincantieri and DSME later withdrew from the competition, but Fincantieri subsequently rejoined. The competition was suspended on November 5, 2019 to ensure requirements could be met and a value for money solution found, which raised hopes from trade unions that the competition would be restarted with only British firms involved. In May 2021, the competition was relaunched with a winner to be selected within two years. In September 2021, contracts were awarded to four consortia, each involving British companies, to further develop their bids. In April 2024, the MOD stated that some design work was still ongoing and construction of the first ship is due to begin in 2025. The production of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary's next-generation solid store ships can now begin following the successful completion of the Fleet Solid Support Program's Critical Design Review CDR. The milestone confirms the detailed design is complete and ready for manufacture. The CSR assessed the structure, safety, environmental and military systems design of the three 216-meter vessels that will resupply Royal Navy task groups at sea. It marks the formal transition from design to production, clearing the way for steel cutting in Spain and eventually in the UK. This major milestone demonstrates the program is on track to deliver advanced vessels that will strengthen the RFA's ability to operate globally. This achievement provides confidence in the design, allowing preparations for production to progress. 
The review assessed the complete, detailed design of the vessels, from hull structure to equipment fit. Overall structural integrity, safety standards, environmental sustainability, risk minimization and military systems integration were covered through the process. This marks significant progress in delivering modern, capable vessels for the RFA. The ships will enhance the UK's naval capabilities and support maritime security operations worldwide. The MOD worked closely with industry partners to reach this critical milestone. The collaborative approach between MOD, Navancha UK, and BMT has ensured the program maintains momentum towards delivery. This milestone demonstrates that the program is ready to meet its operational, logistical and efficiency needs as it gears up to deliver for the Royal Navy and RFA. The successful CDR follows October 2024's preliminary design review and was marked in both Belfast and Cadiz, where UK technical teams have been participating in a knowledge transfer program. This program enables British teams to work alongside their Spanish counterparts, learning advanced shipbuilding techniques and processes that will be implemented in the UK yards. The program now moves towards cutting the first steel and beginning ship assembly later this year. FSS Chief Engineer at DNS said, completing the CDR represents a significant achievement for the FSS program and demonstrates the strong partnership between DNS, Navancha UK, and BMT. This milestone gives us confidence that we're on track to deliver these vital support ships that will enhance the Royal Fleet Auxiliary's global reach and ensure our naval forces have the logistical support they need wherever they operate. We're now ready to move forward with cutting steel and beginning construction of these advanced vessels. This important CDR milestone brings us closer to ensuring the RFA can support our naval operations worldwide, while strengthening sovereign shipbuilding for years to come.